Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restorations. So this project I'm taking on an Opal Diplomat. This is a classic unit by Matchbox. So this is the Opal Diplomat. Series number 36 it looks like. Pretty cool looking car. So, I don't know what the paint color is. I'm going with like a metallic gold or something. I'm not too sure. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to do two of them. Uh, one of them I'm going to send to my buddy Juan over at Matchbox Resurrection. He's always up for a good challenge. I'm actually gathering up a whole bunch of models to send to him and and everything. So, this one needs a hood. So, I know that Juan could work a lot of magic when he works on these things so he is really really good so anywho so stay tuned as I take these apart alright so let's see what these opal diplomats are made of so one thing I like about these is opening hood and the detail let's see if I can get this in the camera I might have to wait till I take it out so, the detail in that engine is amazing. They've got the radiator, the engine, just everything. Incredible. All right, so let me uh, take this apart and see what we're dealing with. Go. It's got one post. It's got the tab in the front right there. Definitely uh, old style suspension. And let's see what we've got here. Probably uh, not old this thing is, but it's it's old, so it's not going to come apart that easy. Still got the tow hook on there. There we go. Interior is actually not that bad for having uh, the windows down. And here's the engine. Let's see if I can get some good detail in there. Amazing. Alright, and I don't know if I'm going to take out the hood or not. I might leave it in there. And the windscreen, it looks like, or the window unit, has a little rivet. So, of course, here's the other one. Just, in theory, just slide right out. There we go. Here's the engine. And this interior, there we go, looks like it's held in by the little sides here. So let me take it out right here. There we go. This one is in a lot better shape. So, all right. So let me take all the pieces apart and see what we've got. Stay tuned. All right, so here are the Opal Diplomats taken apart. So this one doesn't have much paint on it, so that shouldn't be too hard to strip. This one not too bad. So it looks like it came out in original gold color. So I'll just use the Tamiya Gold Leaf. And there's the chassis. Interiors. Awesome shape. And, it, oh, I just noticed that one of the tow hooks is missing. All right, and the window units, this one looks like it's just a little dirty, so hopefully I'll clean it up. Axles, engines, now we can get some good detail. So we've got a battery, a radiator, the valve cover, the cylinder heads. Man, that is so detailed. And then the tires. All right, so go... uh 
put the parts in the hot soapy water and strip the paint and see what we've got. Stay tuned. All right, so here are the two Opal Diplomats ready for primer. No major casting uh, damage or any flaws that I need to fix. I always like it when that happens. So, all right, stay tuned. Put a coat of primer on these. Here are the two Opal Diplomats. Ready to put a coat of uh, paint on them. Not too sure what happened there. Hopefully it'll come out in the paint. I have to put another coat of primer on there. That's strange. All right, and then there's the uh, two bases. All right, stay tuned as I put a coat of paint on them. All right, so here's all the pieces to the Opal Diplomat. And I actually use this is my first axle forming experiment. I got my drill press and I um, formed the ends of the axles with the Marty method using the two modified nails. I think it came out pretty good. It's going to take me some practice, of course, but the wheels are not falling off. And that's the big thing. So, all right, stay tuned for the final reveal. All right, it is time for the reveal for the little Opal Diplomats. So I think these came out pretty good. They're a lot better than what I started with. So I uh, took them apart, took out the uh, engines, chromed them out. Uh, painted the tires with some TS-14 black. Painted the bodies on the Tamiya gold leaf. Shined up the window units with some pledge. Floor wax, I think it is. And, yeah, did the front end, too. Because from the factory, they had these all chromed out. Let me close the hoods. There we go. So, they actually came off without a hitch. So, anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Hope everybody's staying safe and... Hit the like button if you want to. Leave a comment and everything. And I'm just really happy to be uh, pounding out these videos and these jobs. Because, you know, as Thomas always says. Ooh, hang on. As uh, Tommy's, Thomas always says in his comments, who's a faithful uh, viewer. He says, uh, these videos help us get through these trying times. And I have to agree with him. 100%. I probably spend about an hour a night before I go to bed and in, in bed just just watching videos from all the awesome people out there doing these uh, customs and restorations and everything. So first and foremost, I want everybody to stay safe and uh, just shelter in place, please. And, and if I might uh, leave some advice, please don't hoard toilet paper. Do the right thing. All right. Until next time, um, I should have this uploaded pretty soon. And looks like I'm doing one a day. So stay tuned for the next one. I appreciate you watching.